Wall Street Journal, Thursday, November 30th, 2023. U.S. News. Ex-bank executive testifies that Trump was a lucrative client by Jacob Gershman. The former Deutsche Bank executive who recruited Donald Trump as a client testified Wednesday that the bank's dealings with the former president were lucrative and that her superiors were eager to expand them. Rosemary Vrablick, a former relationship manager with the bank's private wealth management division, is one of several witnesses from Deutsche Bank being called to the stand this week by Trump's lawyers as they seek to rebut allegations by the New York Attorney General that Trump committed civil fraud by overstating his wealth for financial gain. The trial in Manhattan, which began in October, is being decided without a jury, is expected to conclude next month. The case has potentially serious consequences for Trump's fortune and family business. At the same time, he is the frontrunner to be the 2024 Republican presidential nominee. Vrabelik, who left the bank in 2021, first connected with Trump in 2011 on the recommendation of the former president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. At the time, Trump was rolling in cash and fame from his role on the reality show The Apprentice and expanding his empire of golf courses. Deutsche Bank, which had an earlier rocky history of lending money to Trump, was at that point eager to do business with Trump and his family, Rayblick said. We are well hunting, Rayblick wrote in a 2011 email that was read in court, a reference to landing the billionaire as a client. By that December, Trump had parked $20 million into a douche bank account. The next year, Douche had lent Trump more than $200 million, financing his acquisition of Miami's Doral Golf Resort. By 2013, the bank was generating millions in revenue from its business with the Trump, she said. On cross-examination, she said she never examined Trump's financial statements herself, but had an expectation that her clients wouldn't submit false or misleading statements to the bank, as the state alleges Trump did. Her testimony came a day after David Williams, a douche bank loan underwriter who worked on annual credit reviews of Trump, testified that it wasn't unusual for the bank and a client to arrive at sharply different net worth estimates. In 2013, Trump estimated his net worth at $4.9 billion, while the bank put that figure at $2.6 billion after doing its own analysis, according to documents cited in court. Williams said he saw nothing out of the ordinary with the bank's downward adjustment. The presiding judge, Justice Arthur Ingeron, already has found that Trump and his co-defendants wildly exaggerated the value of his skyscrapers, estates, and golf courses by concealing appraisals, ignoring land use restrictions, misrepresenting his control over cash holdings, and using misleading investment metrics. Ingeron is conducting the trial largely to determine the size of any financial penalties and whether Trump should be restricted from doing business in New York. What are your thoughts of this presentation? Please leave a comment down below. Thank you.